All right, Shalom, this is Gamali Ala, and I'm Great Millstone in Atlanta. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that are pushing out this truth and sincerity. <clears throat> all right, now this is a quick lesson. And um, I don't have a title yet, um, but basically, uh, something I've noticed lately in a lot of uh, rap music. Uh, a lot of hip hop music is um, a lot of rappers have been mentioning uh, the word demons a lot. All right. You know, they'll say, yeah, I'm traumatized. I got demons. You know, I got demons from doing this. I got demons from doing that. And it's very trending. Like, uh, you know, if, if you're in tune, uh, you know, if, if you're up to date with, you know, current rap music, uh, you'll hear it a lot, you know, demons, demon this and demon that, you know, and, um, you know, I just want to, uh, just go into it because, um, you know, they're attracting that, you know, and, and a lot of, um, a lot of rappers that have died, you know, basically they, they put that on themselves, all right, it it came it came out that a lot of rappers like Juice World and um, what are some other rappers? Uh, uh, I mean, there's so many to the name, but basically, you know, it it comes out later that they either, you know, said something about them dying or, you know, you know, just said something to that effect, you know, something about them passing away or whatever, but. Hey, you know, you attract, you know, like I said, you, you attract that energy, okay? If you put it out there, you know, that's why you got to be careful, you know, what you say. It says Luke 6 and 45, a good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. An evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For, the, for of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaketh. Yeah, so, you know, that word heart means your mind, right? So out of the abundance of your mind, your mouth speaketh. So whatever's on your mind is what you're going to speak, okay? If, if your mind is full of evil, then that's all what's going to come out, okay? If your mind is uh, good, then, then, you know, you're going to have good things that come out of your mouth, you know? And so... That's why a lot of uh, these people get judged. A lot of these rappers and such, they get judged is because all that comes, all that comes out of their mouth is evil communication. Let's get that. Here it is. It says, uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Awake to righteousness. Sin not. For some have not the knowledge of the Most High. I speak this to your shame. Okay? So, evil, com evil communications corrupt good manners. I think there's another one that says, uh, let not your community... Uh, let there not be evil communication, something, something like that. I, I can't, you can put it on the comment board if, if you uh, know the precept, but, um, you know, basically, you know, just bringing home the point that, you know, Jake is, is infatuated with, with demons and, and all this, you know, death, all, you know, different things. All right. And then, you know, everyone's so surprised Everyone's so surprised when, when, when they die or get judged, man. You know? So let's get this. Uh, this is a... Uh, Matthew 12 and 36, it says, But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. 
For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words shalt thou shalt be condemned. Right, so every idle word, okay? You know, every idle word that you shall speak, the Lord is going to give, give it to uh, account thereof, all right? For by thy words thou shalt be justified, all right? By thy words thou shalt be condemned. So, it, like, like I said, if you speak in good things, then you're going to be justified. If you speak in evil things, you're going to be condemned. And it's really as simple as that, all right? It's really very simple, you know? But, you know, the these uh, uh, Jakes all right, out here, you know, they don't they don't know any better. All right. All they know is, is, you know, black culture and, and you know, hustling and finessing and, you know, robbing and killing. They're destroyed for lack of knowledge. All right. They're just gone and destroyed. Scriptures say the whole head is sick. So they are sick, man. They, they, you know, super say they have none understanding. Proverbs 18 and 21. It says, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Yeah, so death and life are in the power of the tongue. Okay? So, so you know, you have the power to speak life, okay? And you have the power to speak death, to speak death and to speak bad things in, into your life, you know? And I can't remember who it was. It was one rapper, I believe it was maybe Snoop or somebody. It was one of them rappers. They basically was talking about, uh, uh, you know, no longer speaking, you know, he, he had to stop speaking about, you know, death and, and bad things. You know, they had to stop speaking on that and, and change, change his, um, his, his stuff, change his content. All right. Because, and you got to imagine, I mean, you got to think that, you know, when you're making these songs or whatever, you're putting that out there to thousands and millions of people. So it's not like, you know, it's just going out to one, you know, you're, you're putting it out there to the world on a, on a major scale. So that's what you're going to get back. All right. What you put out is what you get back, right? Which is which is uh, karma, which, you know, really in the scriptures, well, the scriptures speak about karma, you know, which karma is really just judgment, all right? And you have, you can be rewarded for good or you can be rewarded for evil, all right? But it, 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 it's all, it says the power of the tongue. So that goes to show you, what does that tell you? That the tongue has power. Okay, speech has power, words have power, phrases have power. So when you speak these things, like I got, you know, because they'll say, you know, got demons in my head and I got, I got, uh, uh, you know, well, you're attracting, that's, that's what you're attracting, <laughs> you know, that's, that's the lifestyle that you've, that you've brought upon yourself, all right? And it's really as simple as that. But that's why, you know, you got to get out of that. You know, if, if you, you because really and they're, and they're really glorifying it, you know, because if they really they're making it seem like, you know, something, you know, they're, they're they make it seem like something that's sad or something that's a bad thing. You know, it, it, they're, they're bragging on it like, yeah, I got demons, you know. It's not even like, and, and well, you know, and, and it's, there's a new thing called pain rap, you know, where rappers will basically, you know, talk about the struggle and talk about, you know, just, just so-called real life, you know, but it's called pain, you know, pain rap or pain trap, whatever it is and that, but that's, that's where all the emotional and, and basically emotional rap. You know, Jake talk about what they went through and the struggle. They came from the struggle and, you know, I got demons from, I got demons in my mind from this and I'm traumatized and, you know, all this and all that, you know. So let's see. Uh, let's 
Let's get this one. Proverbs 13 and 3. It says, he that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life. But he that open, openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. Yeah, so a lot of times it's just it's just best to keep your mouth shut, man. You know, hey, there's a saying, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. So, and that's not, that's not necessarily talking about nice. If, if you don't have anything good to say, you know, if, if you're not speaking life, if you're not speaking, you know, uh, uh, positive things, you know, then, then, you know, you're going to, you're, you're basically, you're going to uh, have destruction. He that openeth wide his lips. And it's always a big mouth, uh, uh, Negro. Okay. That always has something, to, something to say. Okay. Let's get this. Uh, I'll get a couple more then close up. Ephesians. Let's get this. I think this is what I was looking for. All right. This is uh, Ephesians 4 and 29. It says, let no corrupt communication. This is what I was looking for. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister Grace unto the hearers. Yeah, so corrupt communication, which a lot of all this rap really is corrupt communication because it's it's glorifying, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's it's glorifying wickedness, man. It's glorifying sin, glorifying shooting, shooting your uh, your neighbor, shooting your your own people. Okay, that's what it's doing. It says, as a matter of fact, I'll read up. Let's see, Ephesians 4 and 26. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. All right, yeah, so, you know, when you're angry, you know, don't, don't, don't sin. I mean, you know, don't be emotional, man. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Verse 27, neither give place to the devil. And that's what these rappers are doing. They're giving place to the devil. They're giving you know, basically the, the devil and demons, basically by them saying, hey, I got demons, they're basically inviting more demons. <laughs> That's all they're doing. They're, they're inviting more demons. That's giving place to the devil. It says, let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands, the thing which is good, that he may give to him that, give to him to him that needeth. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying. And that's really why, you know, that's really the main thing that you want to, that, that, that's the best thing you can do is to edify, man. That it may minister grace unto the hearers. That's why you want to edify so, so you can bring about grace. So you can, you know, wake up the believers, man. You know, and, and we're putting out this truth on a major scale, on a worldwide scale. You know, we're putting it on the YouTube. Meanwhile, you have rappers and wicked uh, influencers. They're putting out wickedness on a major scale, on a on a larger scale than, than we are, you know. But, you know, I just wanted to chime in on that. You know, a lot of these rappers are, are you know, they're attracting their own demise and destruction. So. You know, anyway, with that, I'll close off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakudash, Double Honors to the Elders and Apostles of the Great Millstone. Shalom.